welcome back everybody and this is going to be the next part of our foundation plan drawing and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to draw the footing uh, and the footing is using a dashed line and we're going to make sure that our lines and our line types show up properly all right so let's take a look at what the objective is over here on the right hand side you'll notice that there is a dashed line which represents the footing and it's telling me that the footing is 16 inches wide okay so let's come over here to this drawing and what we're gonna do is we'll offset the wall lines um, four inches on the outside and four inches on the inside uh, that will make up that 16 inch uh, footing distance so I'm gonna come up to the offset command and four will be my offset distance I'm gonna pick the outside wall and pick outside and I'm gonna pick the inside wall and pick inside okay and there those um, two outside lines will represent the footing okay um, I'm gonna make sure that my line type scale settings are set for annotative scaling so what that means is that the line types any type of broken line dash line center line gas line hot water line um, it will adjust to the annotative scale that we have down here in model space as far as the appearance of the dashes. So we want to make sure the settings are set so that that will happen properly. Okay, so the first line type setting will be MS for model space LT scale and you'll have to type that in and you want to make sure that that is set to 1 and mine is the default so I'm just going to enter there. Um, the next one is LT scale and that also should be set to 1 and it is and the last one is PS LT scale and that stands for paper space line type scale and also that should be set to 1 okay so with those settings all set to 1 um, that should help this um, the line types will scale according to the scale that's in this scalar. Now I have my scalar at an eighth inch equals a foot because that is the viewport scale, the viewport scale and the annotative scalar here in model space. All right, so let's grip the outside and the inside line and I'm going to force those onto the dashed layer and you'll see that um, the dashes show up quite nicely. Now, if yours do not show up, it could be that your scalar is set to a different scale. So for instance, if I were to change this to one to one, and then type regen all to regenerate the screen, um, you'll notice that my dash lines now appear solid. And that's because um, the scale of the line has come down so small that you can't see the dashes in between. Um, if we change the scalar to let's say a half inch equals a foot and again we do regen all, um, you'll see the appearance of the dashes um, are smaller but not exactly the same as they were at an eighth inch scale. Okay, so I'm going to leave mine at an eighth inch scale because that's what my viewport scale will be. And again, I'll do a regen all. Um, if you do have the menu bar up here at the top, which is your pull downs, the regen all command is also under the view pull down here. Uh, there's regen and regen all. That's another way to get to that command. All right, so there we have um, the lines for our foundation and the lines for the footing. Okay, I hope that helps clear up how to get your dashed lines into AutoCAD using different scales. All right, stay tuned for the last part.